Here we are at my farm. This is my half acre of, ultra, of open Totoro trellis system. For these trees, they're spaced uh, eight feet apart, 240 foot rows. So 60 trees per row. They are double rows. And so they're staggered. I just got done walking this field, pruning, training the trees along the wire. These trees have been in the ground for, since um, maybe April, maybe slightly before April, March. <coughs> As you can see, some of the growth. We finally got some rain up on the farm and that's why the grass is so long and of course as soon as we get rain the lawnmower breaks down okay so like I said these trees are spaced eight feet apart the goal is to train them espalier style with cordons that run along the wire with a single leader and on this row most of them are just on the first wire yet so training is along the first wire as you can see I tied down these lateral shoots will become these are called cordons and those will be the main scaffold along the wires and that's the single leader always on top and above everybody else walking through the field training these trees with the open tutorial trellis system does require a lot more work than with just the ultra high density plantation mango which is the standalone mango field that I have in the distant there where I have 310 trees on a half acre of land and they are also spaced eight feet apart on no trellis so those are standalone trees now with ultra high density plantation techniques walking through the field and tr pruning the trees takes like anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe the longest one minute per tree but with the open tutorial trellis system, walking through the field, the trees take, it takes usually about three minutes to four minutes per tree, which is a fairly significant difference of time. If you're doing 600 trees in a tree, it takes you three minutes per tree, that's 1800 minutes per tree, which is, probably have to walk through on the first year three or four times to keep up with the training each year say three or four times per year 30 hours per acre that would be uh, That would be for the first year. I would think for the first three years and by the th third year, you'd probably be on the top of the whole trellis. And then you would just be maintaining overgrowth and some of the shoots to keep them organized. So this is my field. The trees have been in the ground uh, three months about three or four months and I've walked through and done my first 
training of the branches along the wire. Some of them are I didn't initially initially started these trees when I was grafting to be ultra high density. And with ultra high density I want the main trunk to be about three feet tall before I top it and encourage branching. But with the open tatura trellis system I more want the first wire set at 24 inches. So because the first wire is set at 24 inches and the original plan was for a three foot main trunk, a lot of the trees, I just topped them. And when they regrow, I'll make a new leader and start the cord on once again. In the meantime, I just watch them grow along with all the weeds. So first wire is set 24 inches above the ground and each additional wire is 18 inches. So 24 for the first one, then 18, 18, 18. These are eight foot trellis, uh, eight foot height trellises. 10 foot posts, buried two feet deep. This row is primarily white peri. They don't always grow the way you want them to grow. Mango grows. All kinds of shapes and ways. And you just do it the best that you can. Ideally, we'd want the first run where you can get two branches onto the, each wire. That would be the ideal way. And I've achieved that with the majority of them. But some of them I couldn't do that with. So I primarily are just doing, like, like once again, the spelly style of training with a single leader on top. There are a couple where I'm attempting to do a double leader. And here's one of them. So this one I'm gonna try to encourage two leaders. When this side has a flush of new leaves, I'll let one of them grow up as the leader. And the same as this side. When it, when it flushes new leaves, I'll let one of them grow up as a leader and I'll train this tree with a double leader. Other than that, it'll be similar. But perhaps with a double leader, you can cover more space in between and then instead of having an eight feet spacing between trees, I could do maybe 10 foot or even 15 foot spaces and cut down the amount of trees that you have per acre while still maintaining the same production level because if I could cut down the trees and maybe only have to have 400 trees per acre and still have the same amount of production because of the double leader definitely speed up the amount of time it takes to make trees and and the whole pruning and training per acre anything to reduce labor is beneficial to me so that's my first walk through the orchard um, I figure every few months I'll post a video show the progress and as you can see from this tree after being in, only in the ground for three months maybe four months it's already at the second wire and the next flush of leaves I'll be attaching 
the cordons to the second wire and this is just after a few months so I definitely expect to reach the top of this trellis by its third year which is also the first year I expect to have production fruit that is one of the main goals behind this ultra high density techniques is that you can harvest after three years instead of having to wait the customary five to seven years before harvest but definitely encouraged by the quick growth of mango tree which Hawaii is the ideal environment for growing mango especially on the west side which is hot and dry all the time well thanks for walking along with me along the trellis I'll see you guys next time